Ever since we were young, we were told never to mix liquids with electronics. We were told that it makes them go a little bit funny. But now, newer liquid-cooled top-performing GPUs and CPUs are giving the traditional air-cooled servers a run for their money. I'm Angus from Server Factory, and today we're doing a deep dive into the sea of server liquid cooling from Supermicro. Liquid cooling for electronics is by no means a new thing. One of the earliest uses was in the swinging 60s, where the music, the cars, the fashion, it was all cool. Even IBM thought, why not make our System 360 computers super cool using liquids? By the 1980s, liquid cooling became pretty standard across the board of mainframes and supercomputers. There were very few alternatives that could keep up with the far superior heat transfer capabilities of liquid cooling. That's over a thousand times more heat capacity than its airflow counterparts. Well, that's pretty cool. Moving on to the 90s. Ah, the 90s. You remember the 90s? I don't. I was three. Liquid cooling was soon overshadowed by the introduction of complementary metal oxide semiconductors, or CMOS for short. This new technology radically reduced the power consumption to the point where it became possible to cool these systems with air at a much lower cost. And now enter the 2000s, the pendulum is swinging back. New applications such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and other high performance computing applications require more powerful systems. And yet you guessed it, more power means more heat. The once cost effective air cooling solutions are becoming more and more complex and costly to build and operate, all while struggling to keep up with these new power hungry demands. Now in May 2021, Supermicro introduced a range of liquid cooling solutions. They deliver top performing and superior efficiency for the most demanding of systems in today's data centers. In a press release from Supermicro, they said, working with customers, Supermicro will design, implement and test the latest liquid cooling technologies at the rack level. And according to the press release, release, customers who implement a liquid cooling solution can improve data center PUE and TCO by over 40% on power costs. Supermicro's most popular servers such as GPU, Superblade, Big Twin and Ultra systems are easily outfitted with liquid cooling while reducing OPEX and keeping the systems operating at maximum performance levels. They have also designed effective cooling solutions from small to large scale such as director chip cooling, immersion cooling, rear door heat exchanger cooling or RDHX or a combination of all four. Wait a second. Director chip cooling, immersion cooling. What even what even is that? Direct to chip cooling, or D2C as it's more commonly known, is a system that is cooled via pipes filled with liquid that connect to a heat sink above the CPU or GPU. Immersion cooling is when you submerge the entire system in a bath of dielectric liquid, eliminating the need for hermetic connectors, pressure vessels, and seals. Remember to always separate your liquid cooled racks and air cooled racks by having them in completely separate spaces, designed for each system's separate needs. Now, I know what you're thinking, this liquid cooling thing sounds like pretty hot stuff. Why don't we just go and submerge everything in liquid for maximum efficiency? Well, before you go throwing your iPhone into the bath, liquid cooling does have its downsides. The first and most important drawback would be the additional risk to failure in the system. A liquid cooled system is far more complex than its air cooled counterpart, causing data center administrators to learn new skills and adopt a new management framework, which of course can represent a huge undertaking. In addition to this, the liquid cooling market is still maturing, resulting in proprietary products and the risk of vendor locking. So to sum it all up, we here at Server Factory think that in terms of liquid cooled solutions, Supermicro is definitely the way to go. They are committed to protecting protecting the environment through their We Keep IT Green initiative, while providing their customers with the most energy efficient, environmentally friendly solutions on the market today. If you're thinking about upgrading your server, head on over to www.serverfactory.co.uk where you can find, configure and purchase the server that's perfect for you. What do you think will come after liquid cooling? Do you think we've reached our maximum cooling potential? Let us know in the comments down below. Stop, before you go, we have got an incredible competition for you. We at Server Factory are giving away three incredible custom Maxnomic Pro Chief Gaming Chairs, thanks to our good friends over at Toshiba. To enter, all you have to do is click the link in the description and follow the instructions. You can enter multiple times by completing various different actions, such as visiting our website or retweeting our Twitter post. The winners will be announced on the 1st of August across all our social platforms, so make sure you follow us and subscribe to find out if you won. Good luck.
If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and a share. It really helps us out. And as always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.